Hello everyone, this is Crime Alley Comics. Welcome to episode 38 of the Comic Book Artist Spotlight. We will be focusing on Lee Bermejo. I was on uh, JoJo's channel, Flicks and Comics, uh, on her YouTube channel uh, last week. And I mentioned in my last video that she was reviewing a Joker book and Lee Bermejo was the artist on that book and I have always pronounced his name Bermejo and when she said Bermejo I thought you know she's probably right so I did investigate that and Bermejo is the proper pronunciation of his name <laughs> so <laughs> so anyway uh, I will try now, since I've called him Bermejo for so long, I may mess up a few times and still call him that, but I will try to pronounce his name correctly throughout this video. <laughs> so, let's get started. I'm going to pull his information up here. I, normally, I have this printed off, but my wife's printer, the one we use regularly... Uh, we had some trouble with the internet, and she has not got it re-established <laughs> to where I can actually send from my computer to the printer to print off the information that I usually share with you guys. So I'll have to use the computer and just get that information off there. Okay, so we'll get started, and I'll quit rambling. Lee Bermejo is an American comic book writer and artist whose published work includes interior illustrations and cover art. He is best known for his collaborations with writer Brian Azzarello, including Lex Luthor, Man of Steel, The Joker, Graphic Novel, and Before Watchmen, Rorschach. He was born in July, on July 31st of 1977. Lee Bermejo's career began in 1997 as an intern at Wildstorm Comics. He is self-taught uh, from a child. He, he uh, actually learned how to draw when he was very young, and uh, he has had very little formal art training. His first credited comics uh, appeared in... Gen 13, number 43, September of 1999. Together with writer Joe Kelly and co-artist Doug Mankey, Bermejo crafted the What's So Funny About Truth, <laughs> Justice and the American Way. Uh, that was a story in Action Comics, number 775, March of 2001. He and writer Brian uh, Azzarello collaborated on the Lex Luthor Man of Steel limited series in 2005 and the Joker graphic novel in 2008. In 2009, Bermejo drew the Superman story in the uh, Wednesday Comics limited series. Bermejo both wrote and drew the Batman Noel graphic novel in 2011. He and uh, Azarello worked together again on the Before Watchmen Rorschach limited series in 19, or I'm sorry, <laughs> in 2012 to 2013. Uh, in 2015, he launched the Suiciders series for Vertigo and We Are Robin for the main DC comic line. Bermejo drew the 2000s variant cover for Action Comics 1000 in June of 2018. And that's funny because I have that one and I did not pull that one out to show it, but uh, I did pull a few books. I, I think you'll enjoy those. So, as far as interior art, um, he has done for DC, Action Comics 775 with Doug Mankey, number 800, number 836, uh, let's see. And those were from 2001 to 2006. 
Uh, then he done Batman Black and White, Volume 2, Number 3, uh, Rule Number 1 in 2014. Batman Damned, Number 1 through 3, which I have two of those to show you. Uh, in 2000, that says in 2002. That's not correct. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's not correct. I don't, somebody's got some wrong information on here. So, anyway. That should have been 2018, 2019. So, anyway. Batman, Death Blow, After the Fire, number one through three. That was in 2002. Batman Noel, graphic novel, 2011. Before Watchmen, Rorschach, uh, the miniseries 1 through 4, 2012 to 2013. The Joker graphic novel 2008. Lex Luthor Man of Steel miniseries number 1 through 5 in 2005. Superman volume 2 number 202. Lex Luthor preview in 2004. Superman Batman number 75. Uh, and remember this is all interior art. He did two pages in that one in 2010. Superman Gen 13, number 1 through 3, in 2000. Uh, Wednesday Comics, number 1 through 12. Uh, he done the Superman one page each issue in 2009. Mad Max Fury Road, Inspired Artists. I guess that's the part of the title. Oh, okay. Inspired artist. Well, there was there was other artists that um, worked on that book as well. That was in 2015. That didn't quite make a whole lot of sense. So anyway, that's Mad Max Fury Road, um, and it was done by many artists, but uh, Bermejo did some art in that book as well. Okay, let's uh, let's go back up here. Vertigo Comics. He done interiors for 100 Bullets, number 26. And there were other artists as well that did work in that book. That was in 2001. Hellblazer, number 182 and 183 in 2003. Suiciders, number 1 through 6 in 2015. And Suiciders, King of Hell, uh, 1 through 6 in 2016. And then for Wildstorm, he did Gen 13, number 43, uh, 44, and 66, 1999 to 2001. Gen 13, uh, Carney Folk, number 1 in 2000. Global Frequency, number 9 in 2003. Resident Evil Fire and Ice miniseries, number 1 through 4. That was 2001, 2000 to 2001. And Robotech number zero, um, 2003, Wildcats annual number one in 2000. For Image Comics, he did Resident Evil number one through three, and that was in 1998. For Marvel Comics, the all new X Men number 25 in 2014, and Daredevil volume two number 100 in 2007. As far as cover art goes, he did Action Comics 1000 uh, variant, Adventures of Superman, number 575, number 617, and 618. Area 10 graphic novel in 2010, Batman Gotham Knights, number 50 through 55, uh, The Bronx Kill, Graphic Novel, 2010. Checkmate, number one through five. The Chill Graphic Novel, number, or not number, but uh, in 2010. Uh, Daredevil, number 88 through 93, and number 100. Dark Entries Graphic Novel in 2009. Dark Rain Electra, number one through five. Fear Itself, Captain America, number 7.2 variant. Fight Club 2, number 1. He did the variant. 
filthy rich graphic novel in 2009. Hellblazer 218, 221 through 238, and 243 through 255. Rumble number 6 variant. The Stand, Captain Trips number 1 through 5. The Stand, American Nightmares number 1 through 5. X-Men Legacy number 220 through 224. I need to get those two um, or those two series, The Stand, Captain Trips, and The Stand, American Nightmares, because uh, my wife would like to have those, because those are uh, based off Stephen King novels. <laughs> All right. Now, as for awards, he won, let's see, IGN Comics Award Best Graphic Novel of 2008 for The Joker on for DC Comics. 2015, he won an Eisner Award for Best Short Story for Rule Number One. Oh, and that was just a, nomina a nomination. He didn't actually win that, I guess. So, okay, that uh, that pretty much concludes what I have on Lee Bermejo. So now let me show you a few books that I have, and and a couple of things I just want to point out about his art as I'm going along, and I'll bring this up now because I want you to notice that Liebermejo's um, art uses a lot of dark color. He he really uses a lot of darkness in his uh, covers. Uh, this here, this is the newest one that's out that I know of and this is Detective Comics 1021 and I think I showed you this in my in my whole video my whole the, the one before this uh, video that one just come out not long ago <laughs> so anyway that's Detective Comics 1021 Batman Gotham Knights. You notice he, he just uses a lot of now on this one it's got kind of a light back you know backdrop, but um, on the costumes and everything he uses a lot of darkness and a lot of shadowing and so on. It's really cool. Anyway, this is Batman Gotham Knights number fifty. Batman Gotham Knights number 51. I absolutely love this cover. Very cool. Batman Gotham Knights number 52. And number 53. It's just, I mean, he just uses a lot of dark colors in his characters and so on. I just, I just love um, his style of artwork. And of course, I have Batman Damned number one. Get some glare off of it. Number two. See, the reds and stuff that he uses is just really dark. There's not a lot of bright, there's no bright colors in it at all, really. I mean, even the white is dingy looking. I mean, you know, her face is just, there's a lot of shadow and everything in her face. And uh, I really, I really do like uh, his use of colors in his artwork. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, you know, uh, Jojo from Flicks and Comics is the one who inspired me to go ahead and do this one because she was uh, reviewing that Joker book the other day. I forget what book it is now, but it's one I'd really like to have. <laughs> I'm going to try to find that one. But, uh, but anyway... Um, She's the one that inspired me to do my next uh, 
spotlight video on Lee Bermejo. Um, so you can thank her for this one. <laughs> anyway, um, as always, if you have any further information on Lee Bermejo, please leave me a comment uh, down below and give me any information. I appreciate it so much when you guys give me feedback on these uh, on these spotlight videos because uh, I enjoy, you know, I'm learning a lot just by um, doing the research on these people. And, uh, and then when you guys leave other information that I couldn't find or didn't find, you know, especially personal encounters and, and things of that nature, whenever you're out at a convention and you meet some of these people and you find out that, you know, some of them is really nice and, and friendly and, and very generous about, you know, doing their signatures and um, artwork and stuff. Uh, and, and then you've got the flip side, uh, the people who are, you know, you'd rather not ever talk to again. So, <laughs> But I really appreciate your feedback on your personal experiences with them and what you think, you know, of their art and, and, and if you have any other information that I did not share. So if you have any of that kind of information, please share it with all of us because um, we really would appreciate uh, any extra knowledge you might be able to throw our way. So, so yeah, I can't believe I've been doing this for, well, this is episode 38. I've actually been doing it for about 40 or 41 weeks because there's been a few weeks that I've had to skip, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's been that long since I started doing these. But I'm going to keep it up, and I did, um, on my last video, somebody, and I, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was now, I'd have to go back and look, but uh, left me several um, suggestions on other artists to do, and I'm, I'm thank you very much for those, because I added the ones to the list that I didn't have on my list already. There were several of them that were already on my list. But I added the rest of them, the ones that I didn't have on the list. So I'm up to like, I, I think I've got about 80 artists on my list now. <coughs> and uh, so, yeah, we could do this for quite some time. As long as everybody's enjoying it and wants me to keep doing it, I definitely will. Because I enjoy, like I said, learning about it and then sharing it with you guys. So with that... I will let you all go. Have an incredible week and an incredible weekend. I know for I, I, if you live anywhere around Indiana, the temperatures are supposed to be in the, you know, 30s to 50s. So down in the 30s at night and in the 50s, maybe a couple of days up in the low 60s, upper 50s, low 60s. So it's not going to be a real nice week this week. But next week, it's supposed to warm up. So I hope wherever you're at, <laughs> you're having better weather than we are. <laughs> Not that we're, ours is that bad, but for this time of year, you know, having the threat of possible frost, you know, in the morning or, or snow showers, you just don't set real well, you know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. God bless every one of you. Have an incredible week, and we'll see you all next video.